everybody, welcome back to the Flannel Channel. I'm Philip. glad you're here. Working on Curtis Lowe, the 79 F-150 that we swapped onto a Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. And as the build starts to wind down, the end is in sight. Got a lot of little things to cross off the list in the interior, things with the roll bar, a little bit more sheet metal work, and then I can finally focus on getting the box on this thing. That's the final step, finish up the wiring, and uh, this thing will hopefully be cruising by the end of the month. This is my favorite thing to be out here throwing sparks and making dust and trying to make this project finished. So uh, I'm gonna be wrapping up some loose ends. A really, really cool friend of mine, he's gonna be doing the final welding on the roll bar and he's 10 times the welder I am. So we'll get that finished it and uh, hopefully get a good jump on cutting up the box so that we can get it set on and get cruising down the road. Should be a fun episode, stick around, here we go. All right, Mike, thank you. I appreciate you, man. Your t-shirt is on its way. Let's weld it in. Catch up with my podcast just a little bit. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yep, that's bed frame. Perfect length, size, thickness, and everything. It's even the right color. Love it. Now that it's tacked into place and the bolt goes through into the tunnel, gonna let that cool off, put some seam sealer on it, paint it up. check this out. I took the filler door from the bed and took it to Napa, had them mix up some paint, and they can put it in aerosol cans for us because that's all I need. So got a little bit of primer, scuffed it up a little bit. Yep, there's some runs because I just don't care. Yep, I'm sure I'm going to be able to see my seam through there. Seriously, I don't care. It'll be enough to cover the tailgate, which I care a little bit more about, but yeah, let's take a look at what it uh, looks like. I guarantee it's gonna be good enough for me. Can you tell I'm not a body guy? Seriously not a body guy. And that works for me. Runs and drips and all. I will be scuffing this with Scotch-Brite so it matches the rest of the, you know. Yeah. I dig it. It even bubbled a little bit where I was welding. That's staying. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Perfect, perfect for me. <laughs> maybe someday I would love it if I could find a step side box and maybe cut that up and make that fit on Curtis instead. But for now, this is what I have. So I'm gonna make this fit and work and we're gonna do it kind of a trophy truck style. And uh, just use the outside sheet metal and brace it up with pipe and some bracing on the inside so that we don't get the, the floppage. So. Yep, keep cutting, keep cutting. What I've been working on this afternoon is cleaning up uh, any of the scaly rust and things like that on the floor, getting the last remaining bit of sound deadening off the floor. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is seal all that up with the seam sealer and then get ready to paint. So this is the last remaining vestiges, good word, right? Of the uh, Crown Victoria floor. And the plan is for that to all be turned black and brown so that it all looks like it's truck cab. And yeah, it's definitely a dirty, nasty, gross job to run the wire wheel and get all that stuff hitting you in the face, you know, and so you're wearing all the protective stuff to make sure you're staying 
safe and you know not breathing that junk in but boy keep telling yourself it'll be worth it in the end just like climbing that long mountain trail to see the beautiful view at the end this is kind of the same sort of thing where you got to go through the sweat and the dirt and the grime and it makes it all worth it in the end when you can see the final results so <sighs> yeah it's okay i'll definitely get a shower in the night but yeah good stuff we're ready for paint here we go we got painters plastic masking tape we got our tray we got roller brush i even got something to use as a stir stick you know what are we using today i'm gonna go with eastwood rust encapsulator plus eastwood is not a sponsor but that'd be really cool uh i'm really impressed with anything eastwood sells and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to just seal out any of the moisture and oxygen to that rust so it doesn't continue to grow and bubble through. And this will give a nice surface when it comes time to put that sound deadening down on the floorboards of the truck. So that's the plan. Let's rock and roll. You can tell this stuff dries pretty quickly and it's gonna be matte black. It's not gonna dry glossy, which is awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And I love doing stuff with a brush and a roller. I know you can spray this stuff, but I like to be able to control how thick and how heavy it is. I've painted many frames and stuff like that with Rust-Oleum. This acts very similar. This stuff just acts like normal enamel paint. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Glad we're saying goodbye to this junk. Yeah. That looks amazing. I'm super happy. We'll keep going. Now that the floor is all painted and dry, I wanna get some sound deadening insulation down in there. And I'm gonna try and get my roll bar coated today with the clear coat. And uh, yep, that's right, I'm not gonna be painting this stuff. I wanna be able to see the awesome welds that Brett did there for us. And I love the look of raw steel, I think it's really awesome. So I ran to my local home improvement store, a little bit of the flex tape. What I'm gonna use that for is going around where my roll bar goes through the body of the truck. There's some pretty big gaps that we needed to put in there in order to get the welds to the frame. And uh, so I'm hoping that something like that will work to kind of seal up, keep the outside out and keep the inside in. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I've heard that stuff works really well also. Uh, let's see, this is just some chemical for wiping down my, uh, my roll bars, getting the oil off of all that and get it prepped, ready to go. So let's uh, let's stop talking, let's get some work done today. I wanna to get my tailgate painted. It's beautiful outside. We finally have some awesome weather here in Minnesota, so I'm probably gonna do all the spraying outdoors, which is really, really nice. bars have been scuffed down with scotch bright and wiped down twice with mineral spirits Got everything kind of masked off like I want it to just to keep clear overspray off of stuff and uh, yeah not perfect because there are zero things that I do perfectly so just kind of making it up as I go trying to figure it out and I think this is gonna work just fine all right so we're gonna throw a battery in it back it outside all mixed up and uh, there's no way to learn except by doing on something like this I watched some YouTube videos on how to set up your gun and 
I followed the directions on the can. I'm planning on doing two, probably maybe even three quarts. Uh, yeah, it's a little breezy out here. Gonna get dirt and bugs in it. But at least I'm not gassing myself up by being stuck indoors. So let's just give it a shot because I don't know. That's how this is gonna go. So maybe I'll start with some parts that people won't see as much first before I go to the stuff that everybody's gonna see. <laughs> Yeah, we'll start in here. I've seen some guys that they, they do that saran wrap look <laughs> intensely on uh, some uh, low rider paint and stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna get that finish even if I don't want it, and I'm not going for it, but that's all right. Oh, well, there we go. Now we let her dry. Now that it's all unwrapped, you can see that uh, I've got a pretty nice shine to it. I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, I'd say mission accomplished. I'm happy with about 95% of it. There's a few areas down in here and a little bit right across the top that uh, got a little bit wrinkly just because the plastic kept blowing into it. So, I have a plan. What I'm gonna do is actually mix up just a little bit more because I still have plenty of clear and hardener. And uh, I'm actually gonna brush it on. Now that might be sacrilege to some of you. It's fine with me. Um, because again, the point of all of this is to prevent rust from appearing and just to try and preserve it because I really like the look of raw steel. So, yeah. Pretty cool though to see it catching the light. I dig that. I dig that. All right, yep, quick little touch up and then we move on because I have other things I want to try and accomplish today. But pretty cool to have that crossed off the list. See, I got a little bit of overspray right up here too. That'll come off, not a big deal. And uh, this will also allow me to get way inside there where I couldn't reach, like way in there. Because like I said before, we're trying to prevent rust from forming. So with the brush, I can control how heavy and how thick, and it is, you know, it is kind of smoothing out. I like it. I like it better already. Dripping a little bit on my floor. It's gonna get covered up too, so that'll be our little secret. I'm also going all the way around the, the welds at the base, down by the frame. Did these just by kind of trying to wrap it around and it's got a nice good seal to the roof and uh, it is sticking to the pipe too you can see it kind of protrude out a little bit there creating a good seal so yeah I like it I'm happy with it hopefully we can keep some wind and some water out of the cab of the truck move around to the outside I'll show you so out here this is a small enough gap I should be able to fill that in with black silicone so that way as the cab moves and vibrates uh, we can hopefully keep this sealed up I don't really want to do a big chunk of flex seal out here I could do spray foam and squirt it in there if need be but 
I'd rather not. I'm trying to stay away from spray foam unless I need to, but yeah, let's go get some silicone and fill that in. All right, so what I'm using to do this is Permatex Right Stuff Black Gasket Maker. It's very flexible and uh, should be just right for what I'm trying to do here, filling up these gaps. It's in a caulking tube because we use it at the shop all the time. Wipe it off with a paper towel, no big deal. Not rocket science, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably very familiar with this stuff. So there is the transition that goes from roof to roll bar on the outside and to the inside. I'm very pleased with that. I like it. This is the side that had a little bit wider of a gap over here, but I like that a lot. Hopefully there's enough flexibility in it that if I raise this thing on a hoist or hit, you know, railroad tracks or whatever, that it's not gonna tear the silicone away from the roof or away from the pipe. I'm hoping that it doesn't flex that much, but hey, we're gonna find out. I'm also gonna do a little bit of painting down here in the rocker area because when we open the doors of the truck, you're gonna see this area. And uh, I had touched this up with the same Rust-Oleum textured stuff. And I'm so happy with how it looks and kind of blends in with the look of the rest of the truck that when the doors are open, I want this to be brown. And uh, eventually maybe that'll be covered by carpet or something else, I don't really know. But um, for today, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna kind of set my cardboard up in here, maybe lay a little bit more plastic so I don't get any overspray on my roll bars. And uh, yeah, we'll turn this brown as well so it looks like it's part of the truck. Each day that goes by, I'm getting closer and closer to driving this thing. We got plates for it now. Yeah, we're all set. Let's put those in the glove box that doesn't really, it's not an actual glove box just yet, but you know, we can hold some stuff in there. <laughs> Oops, come on now. That's on the to-do list, don't worry. All right, time to turn my attention to the tailgate a little bit. It's time for a quick little scuffy scuff. Then we'll shoot it a few times with some of that Napa Brown that they mixed up for us. Yeah. Might give it, I don't know, two, three coats, throw some dirt in it, smack it with the chain a few times. It's gotta look as bad as that. So, <laughs> well, okay, maybe not that bad. Maybe, you know, that bad. Now that I'm seeing that polished line on the truck, I absolutely love that the patina faded paint on this thing sort of looks like worn leather and that the only shiny paint is the dent. So I think I'd like to have that happen on the box too. I just absolutely love it. I'm hoping that the parts that I paint are gonna kinda fade into the background and you won't even really notice them and that you're really only going to see the uh the stories that this paint can tell and only having a little bit of shine in the center yeah i dig it well let's give this weather stripping a try this is one of the first things that i bought for this entire project and it's time to Open it up and see what we got. Yeah, so after looking at it, I think it's gonna fit just fine. Definitely gonna use some glue. So going with the same heavy duty Gorilla Glue construction adhesive I've been using on a lot of the project. It's been working great. It's completely waterproof, it's paintable, and uh, stays somewhat flexible too, which I really like. So I could use silicone, but I'm gonna try this. Uh, got some clamps so that as I'm starting to work my way around, I can kind of hold it into place 
and hopefully it won't fall down. And then I think by the time I'm finished and I get all the way down to the bottom, I'm gonna make sure that my seam stays in the center at the bottom of the door. Uh, I'm hoping I can just shut the door, that'll keep it in place, and I can move to the driver's side. But let's give it a shot. Heck yeah, I think that went really well. Get a piece about that long left over, and uh, clamps at the beginning definitely make a big difference. I think when I do the uh, driver's side and the other side, I'll glue just a small strip at the top and clamp and glue as I go so I'm not dragging my hands and the weather strip through the glue as I do it. So yeah, you kind of get a system down and it gets better, but that side really only took me about five minutes. Not bad. All right, so you can see I'm laying my glue as close as I can to that edge. You know, you could lay a little bit right out there, but this is the passenger side in the passenger compartment and it just sort of wraps around and, and hangs on. So. That's where the factory glue was. I'm just following that same line with my glue all the way. The seam will be somewhere down in there at the bottom and uh, follow it around. So once the glue starts to get tacky and stay really nicely without the clamps, then uh, you can shut the door and leave it sit. But I'll give you a peek at what it looks like on the inside on the passenger. Yep, and should hold real nice and stay for us. Come on, focus. Yep, so not, not rocket science. It really is something anybody can do, but I like this glue a lot. Even though you see little tiny speckles of it here and there, it's all right. It holds so nice, I really don't care. Well, this is probably a great place to stop for the night and uh, to sign off for now, but be sure and stay tuned for more updates on this project. I'm doing my absolute best to keep up with uh, the progress on it and so if you want to see the build from the very beginning go back and check out the playlist and uh, we're going all the way through the entire thing and then when we get towards the end I'm gonna do like a 10 minute long complete build start to finish and uh, that way it's just sort of a synopsis to get uh, everything all in one episode so anyway thanks for coming along with me I really appreciate each one of you supporting the channel remember I don't see the comments here on YouTube but I appreciate all of you who are in the comment section because it helps the videos get uh, more traction and get out there so the shares the likes the clicks all that stuff that you guys are doing thank you I really truly appreciate it if you want to interact with me directly I'm over at Instagram it's at flannel underscore Philip we're working on getting merch is you know as quickly as we possibly can like t-shirts uh, stickers, things like that, and uh, the merch that we currently have is at GoShineOn.com. So go check that out. Thanks again, everybody. Peace and grease.